is now skipping on to the final lap and there's Sergio Perez! Sergio Perez is out of the race! Hi guys, Brown here. Welcome back to the Williams RTG career mode here today for part 7 for the Italian Grand Prix. In the background we're just doing some housekeeping for the engine because obviously you want a very very good engine for Monza because it's just flat out and after the last couple of rounds we really need a good result here but into qualifying we crossed the line and it's not a good lap but that's the boring part let's get into the good part we're back in Italy once again for another round of the Formula One World Championship and what a great race is in store for us today here at the oldest circuit on the calendar Monza hosted its first race all the way back in 1922 with top speeds up to 215 miles per hour and an average lap speed of around 155 miles per hour Monza's reputation as one of the fastest circuits in the sport is well earned we have 11 corners on this 3.6 mile track with the best overtaking chance coming into the heavy braking zone of the turn one chicane and as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of Turn 1. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? Well, the throttle goes both ways, Crofty. You've got to have the discipline not to try and win the race on the first lap. So always be prepared to lift early and give those around you more space. Trying to be the last of the late breakers with half a dozen cars around you may pay off from time to time, but it's also a great way to lose your front wing. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Stroll, Perez, Charles Leclerc and Sainz, Norris, Sonoda, Vettel and Pierre Gasly, Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Mick Schumacher and Raikkonen, Ricardo, Giovinazzi, George Russell and Nikita Mazepin, Verstappen and Brown. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. So we're starting last, Max Verstappen down at the back as well. So. Yes, you can say we're sharing a ride with a Red Bull, but Monza, just like it was on F1 2020, fairly comfortable one stop. Let's get into the racing. There's three, there's four, there's five red lights. They're out and we're underway in Monza. It's a great start by Lewis Hamilton. He's away. That's a good reaction time there. He's straight over off to cover a factory butters as we are going to go right to the inside and absolutely send it down the inside into the chicane. Everyone trying not to hit each other, it's so tight as we go round the outside of the Aston Martin of Sebastian Vettel, absolutely no works to compare to his teammate in qualifying as we head now into the second chicane, we've gone wide and off the track, we nearly hit Pierre Gasly in the Alpha Tauri and there goes Vettel trying to have a look at our inside through the Lesmos and we have got an absolute great start there from absolute dead stone last We've found 10 positions on this opening lap here in Monza. As we head down into the Hiscari again, look at Vettel all over the back of us and the two Alpines as we go a little bit wide. We have a massive tank slapper there as we head up towards the final corner. But here comes Vettel. Is, is he going to try and go to the outside? Yes, he is. But we cover him off, but we've gone wide. And there goes Sebastian Vettel down our inside. We've got a little bit wide. And now we're going to come under threat from the two Alpines. And look at that. We're absolutely swamped by the two Alpines. We've got a little bit of a slipstream off of um, Sebastian Vettel. We try and fend him off, but there's... One of the Alpines absolutely just send it down the inside. We've lost out to the other one. And now there's Kimi Reichlin in the Haas. And I think it's Mick Schumacher that tries to go round our outside. We've got a great start. Now we've been absolutely swamped. There's the Alpine and Vettel side by side as we try to go back round the outside of the other one. And we get the job done there. But look at them in front. As heading up though to the final corner once again. Hopefully we can name it this time, but 
this time he's on the inside of us and I think that one is, yes it is, it's, 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 it's Fernando Alonso, so it was off on battling um, Sebastian Vettel, as here comes Kimi Raikkonen in his Alfa Romeo, we're pushing right to the inside, but now we've got to spot our breaking point, but Kimi's got the job done, and after that great start, we've gone back down, dropping like an absolute stone, as you can see the gap they're pulling out in front of us, as we go back down the inside of Kimi Raikkonen, we've gone off the track a little bit, I think there may have been a bit of contact there, they definitely kicked up a lot of gravel with that, and a lot of dust, and, but look at this, Daniel Ricciardo's got a couple of moves done, and now Ricciardo is going to try and go down our inside, and there goes Kimi, for the ball around the outside, and that's allowed us to get a, a little bit of breathing space as we head up towards the Parabolica, this time though, look at Daniel Ricciardo, he's practically pushing us, look at the Monza trainers down the inside, guys, Goes Kimi Raikkonen, we try to hold him round the outside, but there's contact! Kimi Raikkonen has been spun round and is reversed straight to the house and blocked off our teammate George Russell. Look at this though, look at the absolute slipstream Kimi Raikkonen gets. And he tries to go down the inside and taps our rear tyre. How we don't get sent round, I don't know, and then he just reverses across the track. What is Kimi doing there? The most experienced driver on the grid doing that. But to me, that wasn't Kimi's corner. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but I don't think I'm at fault for that. I think Kimi, yes, he was fair enough alongside, but I've outbraked him. And look at the angle there. He was never making that corner, which forced him right to the inside. So I think there, Kimmy's got to back out of it. He, you can see he tries to go onto the, go off the track to avoid it, but he didn't back out enough. And what slipstream we got as well. But here comes Daniel Ricciardo now. In the McLaren pulls to the outside, and we're nowhere near that McLaren at the minute. And Daniel Ricciardo gets the job done on us as we go a little bit wide and now we clip the gravel and now here comes Max Verstappen who's starting to make up places from his bad start as you can see here we have dropped absolute stone as we try to go back round the outside but Max Verstappen gets the job done and we are dropped all the way down to P16 as down the inside try to go Mick Schumacher and now we're back, back battling those we probably should be battling as we get absolutely done. I realised quite a way through this race we get done by Giovinazzi as well. The amount of downforce that I was running here, I was running like five wings because I was just using the default um, preset setups. So we go back down the inside of Mick Schumacher in his house. So on the straights we run absolute... Um, absolute boat we might as well have just been a box as we try and keep Mick Schumacher behind him and behind us as he goes wide enough the track Mick Schumacher and he's parked it Mick Schumacher's made a mistake and he's lost out loads and he's gonna go down at the back only but only ahead of Kimi Raikkonen who had to pit for damage Why? What, what's happened there Mick Schumacher following us through the Hiscari chicane we go a little bit wide and he's just understeered off the track. I mean, I know the house isn't great, but that shouldn't be happening. Surely that should not be happening. As he gets done there by Giovinazzi. Is there's an engine failure for Giovinazzi? No, Giovinazzi at his home Grand Prix. His engine has gone bang. That Ferrari engine at Monza. What a way for the Ferrari engine to go. Couldn't have gone anywhere else so on this track as we make a late call to go into the pits on lap 11. And as I was mentioned earlier, with the with the amount of downforce, I turned it down so much. I think I went to two wings after this, after I realised, because it was so painful. I had no straight line speed. It was basically Monaco downforce, um, because the presets are so bad, 
I think here, but there's Nikita Mazepin. Nikita Mazepin was behind us. He pitted for the hard tyres quite a few laps before I pitted, and he's beaten us out. But he is on the hard tyres, and we are on some fresh mediums. But I just couldn't catch him. We've been informed of an incident which has resulted in lots of loose debris on the track. The safety car is being deployed. Carlos Sainz in his Ferrari. On oh, his out of the... Look at that, Carlos Sainz is out. Jeff told us he was out and said, What has happened to Carlos Sainz here? And he's lost it, he's dropped it, and he's absolutely gone straight on into the barrier. All the places to make a mistake. And you've done it here, Carlos. In a Ferrari, you've binned it into a wall in front of the Defosi at Monza. What? How have you even managed that? But the Spaniard is out and we are going to pit to go on another set of the mediums. Looking back on it, I probably could have gone on to, the, gone on to another set of the softs, but I didn't think that they could go that far at the time. So we're going to go back on a fresh set of mediums. We hadn't been on them that long, only six laps, so I think we put it on lap, um, lap 12, but the race is going to get back underway here, there's not really much point me showing you the safety car, but can we have a go here, as we are in Daniel Ricciardo's slipstream, and look at George, George is absolutely sent it down the inside of loads of cars, round the outside of the Alpine he goes, and he gets the job done. And I was just trying here to get through them because I thought as we go side by side, there's George, as there's we go, sorry, side by side. But and I think we finally managed to get Mazepin round the outside. We finally get Nikita Mazepin after staring at the back of that house lap after lap. This is a replay of what happened here. Look at George, absolutely licks the stamp and sends it down the inside and that puts him into the points I believe that puts him into P10 in this race as we're side by side here an absolute drag race with Nikita Mazepin and we finally get the job done on the Russian around the outside and up ahead is the Alpine this is George the right at the start, you can see he's gone right to the inside and absolutely send it, what's that, that's about five, six cars, straight down the inside, side by side with the Alpine, gets the job done on traction, now can George hold on to get his first points in a Williams, of course he got him in the last race in Hungary in real life, but here he comes, George Russell, round the outside, into P11 and he gets absolutely done round the outside by Max Verstappen and his hopes for points are gone as is just the two Alpines separating George and myself as he gets a good slipstream now but he's going to be absolutely swamped just like we were at the start of the race by the Alpines they're free wide into the first again one of the Alpines has been forced wide. Come on, George, get the traction. But he can't, and now we're side by side with the Alpine. And in this, and can we get the job done here? As we, we try, George has been done, I think, by the Alpine. Yes, he has. And now we've managed to get past, so we're right behind George. I wanted to try something here. As now here comes the rip. The, the McLaren of Daniel Ricciardo he got us here earlier on in the race and this time he is going to get us again but we do manage to fend him off this time but I really we lose it we nearly lose it we nearly did what Mick Schumacher did earlier on in the race but here comes Daniel Ricciardo absolutely blitzes it past us we're really struggling still for straight line speed and side by side behind us there it goes down our inside um, Kimi Raikkonen, because we came together with Kimi earlier on in the Grand Prix has been side by side with Nikita Mazepin. There's Kimi Raikkonen on the outside. We're free wide heading down into the chicane. Can we go round the outside? Mazepin backs out of it and now Kimi Raikkonen sees his chance to go round the outside of Nikita Mazepin. They're side by side as we try and get away from these two. 
They're still side by side. It's Kimi Raikkonen round the curve of Grande. Sends it round the outside. We're still um, behind George. He's just ahead of Ricardo, as we can't catch him. As now, now heading down, down the inside. There's Daniel Ricardo getting the job done on George. As now, we are on the back. As there goes Kimi Raikkonen alongside us. Can he get the job done on us this time? I, I tried. We try and hold it round the outside, and we do. What a move that is to keep Kimi Raikkonen behind us. A left, let off the brake, turns in, absolutely sweeps round the outside, and we get the job done on Kimi Raikkonen to keep him behind. And now Mick Shoup, now Nikita Mazepin's trying to get back past Kimi Raikkonen, but Kimi fends him off for now. My, as if, if we can actually get a break with all the action, as there's contact with Kimmy's round again. Kim is in the wall, and Nikita Mazda pins out of the race, and Mick Schumacher has been caught up in that as well. And but Kimmy Raikkonen, for the second time this race, he's got his front wing ripped off here at Monza. This the the fellow Italian team is not having a good race here at Monza as Mick Schumacher follows him in. This is the replay of what happened and what's he doing there, Kimmy? That double door's going to close. I was on the racing line. Yes, he had the slipstream, but to be fair, he, was, he had a wheel alongside. This is Mazepin and he just absolutely rams. Um... Kimi Raikkonen right from behind. How Mick Schumacher here going for he hits. How Mick Schumacher doesn't get wiped out of the race when Nikita Mazepin has. How? How is Mick Schumacher still in this race with only a little bit of front wing damage? As now skipping on to the final lap and there's Sergio Perez. Sergio Perez is out of the race and. Charles Leclerc has hit him as well. And there's a replay of what happened. There's, there's Sergio Perez out of the race and so is Charles Leclerc. It's an absolute nightmare for Ferrari at Monza. Both Ferraris in front of the De Fosi out of the Grand Prix. Here is what happened. From Pierre Gasly's point of view, it's a massive crash there. Absolutely huge between Sergio Perez and Charles Leclerc. As now, this was also at the same time three DNFs in the space of a couple of literally a straight as Lance Stroll, who had a great qualifying, had, was having a great race, retired with an issue. What a dramatic end! to this Grand Prix going on to the final laps these were but the Canadian is out of the Grand Prix and that means that there are 14 still running in this race and wow as look at this Valtteri Bottas with Lewis Hamilton all over the back of him can Lewis get him? No, he's too far back. But Valtteri Bottas wins the most dramatic Grand Prix of the season from Lewis Hamilton, from Lando Norris, from Pierre Gasly, from Sebastian Vell, Yuki Tsunoda, Max Stappen is a great recovery drive. Then, but the most dramatic thing ever is that there's 14 finishers and we still couldn't get our first points. OK, pick up rubber and bring it home. That's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? A reliable car. That was the most important factor here. This was a real battle of attrition, and you could tell those at the front were trying to find a balance between running their outright pace and taking care of the car to reach the end. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot, 
A well-earned victory for Mercedes. Oh, that was such a fun race to do. That, that is more the best race of this um, career so far. Battery Bottas wins it, but how is there only 14 cars finishing and we still couldn't get into the points here in Monza? We were so close. As I wanted to mention in the race, when George had that, absolutely sent it down the inside, I wanted to try and get up to George, get past the Alpine and I think it was um, was it Vettel in the Aston Martin as well kind of acted as that rig going up because I know obviously AI aren't going to be that aggressive so I wanted to be behind George and get the elbows out so he could get away and we could and at least he could get the points but if you have enjoyed that absolute banger of a race Double DNF for Ferrari in front of the Defosi at Monza. Absolute scenes. And also a poor race for that fellow Italian team in Alfa Romeo as well. Kimi having two front wings ripped off. Partly my fault and Giovinazzi out of the race. Well, I'm going for a lie down after that. I'll see you in Singapore. Goodbye.